stories are plausible beginnings. My name is Osadumibi, and every week I will tell you a short story written by a Nigerian writer or author. That's the long and short of it. So without much ado, this week's story is by Oluwatobi Ajayi, and it's titled Conductor Change. The year was 2022. I had just started a new role in one of those new tech companies on the island. This meant that I had to make a four-hour daily commute. That was where I met her. On the bus. Inside a Lagos bus. She sat next to me one crazy Monday morning. I did not notice her in the darkness of dawn, but the conductor did. He bent over us as he collected the bus fare. The stench of his morning breath, mixed with early morning gin, made my eyes water. Hey, find you your money he said with a stone-cold face. She reached into her purse, handed him a 1,000 naira note and said, Obalende. Then he looked at me and said, Yonka. Obalende, I said, also handing him a 1,000 naira note. You did go the same please, he asked. The mischievous look on his face indicated he was just getting warmed up. Without waiting for a response, he spoke again. Now your sister. We looked at each other as we shook our heads. And that was when I noticed how beautiful she was. She looked away and I went back to staring at my phone. It occurred to me how out of place she looked. Squeezed into this rickety sardine tin called a damfo. Like she got stuck in the purgatory that is Lagos mainland and was trying to make her way back to paradise. For the rest of the trip, the conductor, much to our chagrin, but to the amusement of the other passengers, kept trying to matchmake us. He adamantly refused to give us our balance, claiming he had no change on him, even though we could see the bulk of stained Naira notes squeezed into his fist. As we moved slowly on the third mainland bridge, approaching our destination, I repeated for the umpteenth time, but with a tone of aggression, Conductor, change me da. You are fighting for your wife, Abby. He raised his voice like he wanted to fight me. The whole boss burst into laughter and finally told him to give us our change. But he insisted he had no change to give us. I wondered what was going through her mind and if she thought I was to blame for all this drama. Even though all I did was sit next to her. Actually... She was the one that sat next to me. Wait, 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 wait. It does not matter who sat next to whom. What mattered was that this demented conductor was trying to start my week on a sour note. As we got off the bus, he gave us one 500 naira note, demanding we split it among ourselves. I just stood there. Wondering what a devil incarnate this guy was. I was going to be late for work looking for change, despite waking up at 5 a.m. After a few minutes of searching, we found some change. I could tell she was glad to be finally rid of me. As I handed her the crisp Naira notes, one 200 and the other 50, I gripped them 
and held her gaze. So, I'm David. What's your name? Oluwa Tobi Omokolade Ajayi is an architect, copywriter, and musician. His activities as a creative transcends storytelling into transacting emotions. He loves the impact the right words have on human feelings and actions. His works have been published in the What Is This Life collection by Denla Creatives. On the 14th of February, 2023, he published his first collection titled Guilty by Association to Positive Reviews. You can download a copy from his Disha page at Toby the Genius. In his spare time, Toby enjoys reading, studying human behavior, and mentoring young creatives. He has a master's degree in architecture from Covenant University and hopes to make his mark on the global scene. He has garnered a dedicated following on Medium, where he publishes regularly. Read more of his work on his Medium page at Toby the Genius. You can also connect with Toby on Instagram at Toby the Genius. Details and links will be in the episode description. If you've got a story you would like to be featured on this podcast, or a published book you want to make into an audiobook, send me a message at Osadamibi on either Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter. I look forward to collaborating with you. And if you've enjoyed this week's episode, tell a friend that stories are a good escape for a few minutes each week.